Hi, I'm Futong Chang, founder of Chang Concrete, and we're here again to talk about concrete countertop making. Now, one of the important tools to make a countertop is a mixer. It's a misnomer to think that out of a wheelbarrow, even though the capacity of a countertop might not be that big, that you just mix it out of a wheelbarrow. I really recommend getting a professional mixer. You can rent one at your local rental yard, and uh, they have varying capacities depending on your need. But if you're an amateur or a professional, I always recommend getting a cement mixer for making concrete countertops. Right here we have three different sizes. This is a 14 cubic foot, we have a 3 cubic foot there, and we have a 12 cubic foot. Now don't be misled because they don't actually hold 12 cubic foot of actual mix in there. That is the entire capacity of the drum. In this 14 cubic foot here, maximum you can use uh, in terms of mixing is 10 cubic feet of material. For instance, with our sackcrete mix here, it would be approximately 18 bags of our sackcrete mix could go in and fit into the capacity of this drum. With the three cubic foot, you may only want to use two bags. So when you go to your local yard, usually they're about a 12 cubic foot or a nine cubic foot. Figure that you're going to be uh, mixing in there, uh, respectively, oh, six, seven cubic foot with a 12, and um, uh, with the three, well, or with a nine, maybe you're down to uh, five cubic feet, okay? And we he notice here that this is a gas-fired mixer. Um, the gas-fired mixtures have a little more versatility. You can take them to a job site where there's no power. And um, you notice we've taken the wheel off of here. This, this is a towable mixer. Um, we've taken the wheel off so it doesn't walk off with somebody else besides our employees. Um, and the gas, the gas you can't use it indoors. So uh, obviously you don't want to use one of these indoors. If you're going to be doing a lot of indoor mixing, uh, let's say you inclement weather, such as that, then you want to use an electric uh, mixer. And sometimes you have to gauge the power. It might be 220 is necessary. When you use a mixer, be very careful. I mean, this is for uh, most professionals would know this, but uh, if, if you're doing this for the first time, you, you don't stick your head in there. You don't stick any of your uh, arms, hands inside the mixer, especially when it's turning because there are sharp tines that go in there that pull the mix through and uh, you don't want uh, red colored concrete, you know? So let's just keep our hands out of the mixer, out of the mixer. Uh, whenever you're starting out, you wanna put your mix in the mixer first and then you slowly add water. Remember, to use the mixer effectively, you take your admixture and your sacrete and you put them in before you add the water. And you want to make sure uh, that the fibers and the color and uh, all the components that's in the admixture mix thoroughly with your sacrete. I always like to say that good design is the most important tool to execute a great countertop. But to execute that good countertop, you need to know what tools you'll need and how to use them. This is Futong Cheng.